a car. Is this crazy alien world. It's wacky and feels like this sort of sci-fi, high-tech insanity. It's a physics phenomenon. We're stranded on a planet that is designed to stress me out. It's lawless and chaotic, but in a completely hilarious way, where nothing makes any sense. Sakaar lives on the edge of the known and unknown. It's something we've never seen on film before. What the hell? Three, two, one. Boom! When Marvel approached me, they said, we want to take Thor in a new direction. <laughs> <laughs> we want to have more fun with Thor. Step him out of Asgard and take him to another side of the universe. It's a car. Couldn't be more different than Asgard in every respect. It's a hyper-color science fiction circus of a planet that is the toilet of the universe. Surrounded by cosmic gateways, it is the collection point for all lost and unloved things. Wormholes are dropping space debris onto the surface of the planet, and the population over thousands of years have repurposed it, made the city. This might be the most audacious set we've ever built for the most audacious planet that we've ever featured in one of our films. And you look at the design of this whole place, from these walls to the costumes to the little props, it is entirely a tribute to the artistry of Jack Kirby. <laughs> Take to the streets. Celebrate my champion now. Who's that? Well, he kind of runs the place. Sakaar is ruled by the Grand Master, played by Jeff Goblin, and he's insane <laughs> and colorful and hilarious. I pardon you from life. No! The Grand Master is the photo negative of Odin. He's a very high status figure. He does things with disco. Grand Master improvises. I'm practicing now this little section, which includes me as Grandmaster playing with a band. We wanted that character to be really memorable, and Goldblum is just perfect. I'm going back to Asgard. Asgard? I can't say that I'm all that familiar. He turned up day one and blew us all away. As uh, place, Asberg. Asgard! I'll tell you this, and this is honest, it was as good a time as I've ever had. Champion, champion, champion. It was really fun, exciting, and I, I liked what we were doing. Hey, cut. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, look at all of you. <laughs> Who's having fun? Well, we were able to tap into something from the comics, which is very exciting. <gasps> Marvel's Contest of Champions is a favorite book. You got to see your heroes face off against each other. And it was the inspiration for one of the best action scenes we've ever produced. Yeah, I go at it for a bit. Hulk's history in the comics of these cosmic adventures, he felt like the perfect choice to bring him into that Thor world. The idea of those two heroes together, it's probably the one thing that got me the most excited about the project. Your Banner's friend. I'm not Banner's friend, I prefer you. Thor Banner's friend. Hulk's no longer depending on Banner's anger. Hulk dreams. That's great. Have fun. Hey, big guy. On Sakaar, he is a huge star. He is the prize fighter, and he gets, you know, the penthouse suite and anything he wants, basically. This is Hulk's uh, suite. Hulk's beard is uh, basically an old dragon skull. It's something that he's put together, a bit of a prize. Loves sleeping there. He's the guy who can afford whatever he wants, and space is of a premium in Sakaar. Stupid place. It's hideous, by the way. The red, the white. Just pick a color. Ridiculous. Smash you! Hulk's a lot more articulate in this than we've ever seen him before. I'm sorry, I just get so angry all the time. Hulk, always angry. Hulk is the CG character, but because we capture Mark's performance, he has a nuanced way of being that you don't expect from a big green monster. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo brings the gravity to Bruce Banner. Mark Ruffalo reinvented Banner, reinvented the Hulk. His playfulness, I think, is what people will really get a kick out of. 
Last time I saw you, you were trying to kill everybody. Where are you at these days? It varies from moment to moment. It was very fun to see for the very first time Loki and Hulk reunited under very different circumstances than the last time we saw him. I am a god, you dull creature. I have. One of my favorite things in this film is Loki's response to Hulk smashing Thor in exactly the same way that Loki got smashed. Yes! Come on! That's how it feels! Woo! You see that? Come on, this place is perfect for you. It's savage, it's chaotic, it's lawless. Do you truly think so little of me? <laughs> Part of the fun of Loki is that he rides that line between protagonist and antagonist. And one second he's on your side, and the other second he's doing something that serves only himself. There's a bit of a sort of running gag in the comic books and the previous films about, like, you know, God, Thor's trusting him again, he's portraying him again. <laughs> you still don't trust me, brother. Would you? No, I wouldn't. Classic Loki. There was one time when we were children. He transformed himself into a snake, and he knows that I love snakes. So I went to pick up the snake to admire it, and he transformed back into himself, and he was like, yeah, it's me, and he stabbed me. In Ragnarok, actually, Thor has kind of cottoned on to the cycle, and Loki has to adapt for perhaps the first time. You'll always be the god of mischief but you could be more. I think inherently there is good in Loki, but he just has a warped kind of view and entitlement. We're about to jump on that ginormous spaceship. Do you wanna come? Well, you do seem like you're in desperate need of leadership. Every time I play Loki, and this is a source of constant surprise and delight to me, is that people love him so much. <laughs> and I think it's because people can relate to him in some way. He's an outsider. He's a misfit. Yes! Did you see that? Did you see that? Come on. Well, what's always fun is the comics were so amazing having this shared universe where anybody could show up in anybody else's book. Yes! Kim Foggy and all the guys at Marvel always love going somewhere different. We just need to see where we can take it. In these films, they are able to find new ways of those characters interacting and fighting and teaming up and having a laugh in all kinds of new places. Get help! Oh, classic. It's humiliating. No, not for me, it's not. And Sakaar is the perfect coming together of these characters in the Marvel Universe. It's my birthday! It's my birthday! It's my birthday! This wasteland world of Sakaar is the wild, epic space adventure aspect of Thor that we haven't seen on the screen before. Guys, we're coming up on the devil's anus. 